Generative AI in practice. The author of this book worked for and advised many top companies, including Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Dell, IBM, Walmart, and more. One of the central themes of this book is that AI helps with hyper-personalization. Generative AI can generate product designs, computer code, music, videos, voices, and entire visual worlds. It can even write books. Traditional AI, on the other hand, was primarily used to make predictions based on existing data. For example, identifying which customers are most likely to buy a product in the future. Traditional AI can work with generative AI. For example, traditional AI could analyze behavior on your website and Gen AI could then create personalized content for each user. One way to work with AI is to feed it an input like part of an image or text prompt and have it generate an output like a completed image or a piece of text. You can create images, sounds, and videos like deep fakes. You can even generate synthetic data so you don't have to rely solely on existing data. Consider Coca-Cola's masterpiece advertisement as an example of generative AI, or the creation of the new Beatles song, or how General Motors created a new seatbelt bracket that is 40% lighter and 20% stronger because of generative AI. To summarize, generative AI can produce text, images, video, music, sound design, data analysis, computer code, synthetic data, research, video games, and virtual worlds. Here are some specific use cases. Drafting emails and reports, writing entire stories, editing grammar and style, translating speech to text, songwriting, making summaries, creating travel schedules, creating artwork, editing for colors and subtitles. For example, I've used various tools such as Subtitle, Opus Clip, Cut Labs, and others to generate subtitled videos and TikTok style videos. AI is also good at voice synthesis. I used InVideo to clone my voice with AI. AI can provide design suggestions such as Canva does for me. It can also suggest color palettes. It generates reports automatically and makes them easier to understand. It can also detect anomalies like security threats. AI is great for forecasting and customer insights using historical data to predict trends and preferences. It's also good for automating content moderation and personalizing experiences. AI can provide virtual shop assistants to help with online purchases. For example, recently I asked Samsung's online employee information about their air conditioners. To be honest, I think AI would have been better at helping me because the agent didn't provide enough detail. Scheduling is one tedious managerial task that is best left to AI. Generative AI helps with supplying the right products to the right customers. For example, personalized workout plans and nutrition plans. Stitch Fix uses its outfit generation model to generate millions of outfit combinations per day. AI is moving into individualized skincare and learning plans. Generative AI helps with premium features such as Canva's design templates that are refined for individual users. Aragon AI can transform a regular photo of you into a professional headshot using AI. I recently used this to generate about 25 different headshots. Microsoft Teams enables automated note-taking and can transcribe meetings, summarize calls, and create to-do lists based on conversations. Facebook lets you create multiple versions of the same ad with different text and images aimed at different audiences. Snapchat offers an AI chatbot as a friend. AI helps with, screen resume, with screening resumes and scheduling interviews. One of the biggest problems with AI is that it amplifies already biased data. One way around this is using synthetic data that can reduce the bias in the training data. Another challenge is that AI can't explain well how it came to conclusions. In my experience, this is one of the advantages of using traditional non-AI models like RFM, recency, frequency, and monetary value. You know exactly what variables drove the outcome. There is also the issue of privacy, which can be mitigated by making data anonymous and by stripping it of personal information. In marketing, lower level content creators may soon be replaced by AI, but those who handle strategy and creative briefs will thrive. Humans are necessary for strategic thinking and overseeing the quality of outputs. Jobs that are repetitive, predictable, and don't require deep intuition will likely be replaced. 
A lot of customer service positions will be replaced by the massive personalization AI can offer based on past interactions with a company. Humans will remain for complex, sensitive topics and those requiring empathy and judgment. Even telemarketing can be replaced with robots that recognize human responses. AI can gather, analyze, and interpret large amounts of data, largely replacing market researchers. In advertising, AI can often do a lot better job placing ads. As people, we may be better off developing our softer human skills and leave the repetitive skills to the robots. Software coding may be replaced by AI. Roles that require strategy, creativity, and understanding of cultural subtleties will likely remain in human hands. Leadership positions are also important for navigating interpersonal relationships, providing inspiration, and making strategic choices. AI is particularly good at automating content based on data-driven stories or reports. We can use AI to brainstorm ideas, analyze audience data, personalize news stories, and create videos. You can summarize earnings reports, automate a lot of a journalist's tasks, and produce hyper-local content. AI can analyze vast amounts of data from sports, repurpose book content, and translate books and podcasts using a clone of the author's voice. It can improve dubbing and make professional voiceovers. AI is particularly strong at generating art using tools like Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, and Dolly 2. AI can tailor marketing content to the specific needs of individuals. Here's how to apply AI to marketing. Brainstorm ideas, generate beautiful images, generate text for emails, ad copy, blog posts, social posts, product descriptions, and scripts for video ads. Generate videos and product demos. Generate music, conduct sentiment analysis. For example, look at social media mentions to see how customers feel about a product. Some examples of Gen AI ads. Oreo and Cadbury use Dolly 2 to create ads. Nike and Tommy Hilfiger use Midjourney to create ad images. Coca-Cola used ChatGPT and Dolly 2 in its masterpiece campaign. Heinz fed Dolly 2 with prompts like ketchup and outer space. LinkedIn has a, cool, has a tool called Accelerate that allows you to create ad campaigns quickly and automate ad optimization. Typeface creates on-brand messages in seconds. Waymark creates generative AI commercials for Fox TV stations. This allows low-budget businesses to create high-quality TV ads. Netflix uses AI to create highly targeted thumbnails. You might be seeing a different thumbnail than your friends are. Messi allowed Pepsi to use a deep fake version of himself promoting Lay's chips. Virtual influencers are becoming increasingly popular. For example, Prada has a virtual muse called Candy. These influencers don't age and they don't get involved in scandals. Octopus Energy now handles 44% of customer inquiries with robots, which receive higher customer satisfaction scores than humans do. Many chatbots, however, are frustrating because they rely on rules-based systems with predetermined responses. The future is personalized recommendations. Twilio's customer AI solution can generate articles to fill gaps in knowledge. Sprinkler's call note-taking automation tool can help agents focus on listening rather than documenting. AI helps with bespoke travel itineraries based on a guest's past choices. Personalized user experiences are one of the strongest use cases for AI. Miele uses a smart food ID cooking assistant that takes pictures of ingredients and suggests a cooking mode automatically. AI can make maintenance suggestions that lower the total cost of ownership for equipment. Virtual stores are another application of AI. Consider Nike and Forever 21 and Roblox. Consider Expedia that allows open-ended conversations with the app to help people arrange travel. AI can also help you try on products virtually to see how they look on you or in your house. Sephora, Ray-Ban, and Body Labs let you do this. Smart mirrors make it easier. Consider how Coach used a smart mirror so people could see themselves with one of their bags and share the social images that are produced from that. Gen AI can summarize customer reviews. Newegg offers these summaries for electronics. AI can rearrange product placements based on a customer's interests. AI helps us overcome persona stereotypes and offer true one-to-one -one personalization. Newegg, for example, lets you build a custom PC using chat GPT technology. eBay ShopBot is a personalized shopping assistant. Ask Instacart helps with shopping and food preparation with dietary restrictions. 
AI helps with personalized marketing messages for upselling and can help with inventory management. AI can generate a story for every product variant. eBay uses AI to produce product listings based simply on a photo. Shopify has a tool to generate product descriptions, email subject lines, and headlines. Amazon also has a tool for writing product descriptions. Walmart uses chatbots to negotiate and close deals with suppliers. Clothing company Mango has an AI called Lisa that helps employees with various improvements like enhancing after-sales service. AI helps tremendously with personalized education, with real-time questions, customized lesson plans, and speedy answers. In medicine, AI tools deliver comparable accuracy to doctors. AI also helps doctors with tedious admin tasks and transcriptions. I worked for a company that provided veterinarians with similar transcribing technology. A tool called Animate Anything can produce an animated 3D video in minutes. The tool Consensus gives you answers to questions based on academic consensus. Elicit can find relevant academic papers based on your specific questions and summarize the key information. Conversational banking is another key application of AI. Restaurants use automated menu generators. QuickBooks uses an assistant to provide recommendations to solve problems and manage taxes. IT can also pinpoint cash flow issues and highlight overdue invoices. NetSuite automates data analysis for preparing budgets. AI speeds up the software development process by gathering requirements, generating code, completing code, reviewing code, fixing bugs, and testing software. It may be used to predict how software will fail before releasing updates. ChatGPT can write a program to create HTML templates for YouTube video titles, descriptions, etc. Freshworks already uses ChatGPT to write its code. Using AI for code can greatly reduce security flaws. One example of AI code generation is CodeWP, a WordPress tool for developers. UIZard, I don't know if I'm saying that right, helps people design mobile apps, websites, and landing pages in minutes. One of the biggest missed opportunities for companies is that they have tons of data, but lack the insights to make decisions based on that data. That's where AI steps in. AI gives anyone the ability to analyze vast amounts of data in an intuitive, natural language way. AI can do pattern recognition, trend analysis, provide real-time insights, and can work with very messy data, making the information actionable for decision makers. AI helps us make faster and better decisions by asking questions like, what are our top three customer behavior trends for the previous month? It can summarize information for different audiences, such as finance and marketing departments. It can help us visualize data. It can notify us when there are spikes in sales or website trends. It can prepare data with tagging and segmentation. TELUS uses heavy.ai to find upsell opportunities. Power BI uses Copilot to make actionable reports. Teradata has Ask.ai, an AI that allows people to get instant answers to questions based on the company's data. Snowflake Cortex allows you to chat with data, detect sentiment in data, extract answers, summarize info, and translate text. Akio brings AI analytics to small and mid-sized companies who often don't have huge amounts of data. The key is to focus on the data that will solve your biggest business problems or answer your most pressing business questions. Minor incremental improvements don't really move the needle. You could use AI to generate a fake billboard sign with text for PR purposes. Imagine the future bots that don't just answer your questions with text, but also implement your orders and delegate tasks. That could be the future of AI.